Welcome everybody to NAM. My name is Florentino Buenaventura. I am the CEO of Intertalk Media, also the host of the Changing Stage radio show, as well as now TV show. Mm -hmm. And we are here with the big picture from CEOs of some of the most iconic companies. And one of my favorites, personal favorites, uh, is Mr. Andy Zildjian from Sabian. And uh, thank you, Andy, for, for joining us here. Oh, thank you for the high praise. I appreciate it. <laughs> How, how's the how's the first part of the show been for you? Oh, it's great. I, I love the show anyway, just because of all the energy that comes with it yeah. and all the people that you see. So it's it's like it's one of those points in the year that it's its own little atmosphere. Yeah. You get into it and poof, everything takes off. It's an it's an awesome explosion ride. <laughs> uh, tell me about it. Yes, yeah, it's. it's it's run and gun for us all the yeah. time here, so I'm actually happy to be in this seat seat because usually I'm running around doing stuff. So it's I can make it stand up. You want to stand up? We could. We could. No. Do, we could break dance. <laughs> so you know, let's just jump right into it, Andy. Sure. This is about the big picture, yep. about the music industry. Mm. You know, things are dynamic, and this is the changing stage show. Mm. Give me your take on the current state of the music industry, both the MI or music instrument channel, as well as the music industry as a whole, because they kind of are symbiotic. Uh, it, yeah, and actually they, they seem to be following like the, a, a parallel courses, let's say. Um, you, if you look at, at music retail, for example, part of the MI channel, um, a lot of people are, are moving, of course, online, and that's where a lot of purchases are happening. Um, but at the same time, you can't do all of it yeah. online. Some of it has to be personal. And with music and, and, uh, and performance, a lot of it is online, but it can't all be online. Some of it has to be uh, personal and face-to-face. And, and -face. Yeah. So if, you, if you're watching things like, uh, like retail and, and musical instrument sales coming out, that's uh, a lot happening on, on Reverb, a lot happening on, on uh, Amazon, which Tune is... Tune for the music, for the sure. music side? Oh yeah, yep, for that side. And, so and do, yeah. that's okay, but it's not, it's not the ultimate. It's, it's okay, and it works, because any way that people can get their hands on instruments and be able to play, that's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, and that's a good thing. But um, with that, there are some places, like for example, Fender has that, yeah. that um, lesson program that they've got. Fantastic. Yeah. Fender because play. now you're not just getting it on the web, you're also learning how to play it. Yeah. And that's, that, I think that's probably the most important part of ever having an instrument is knowing how to use it correctly. Yeah, interacting yeah. with it for yeah. sure. And then when, it would, when you're talking about music performance and, and um, how people are, are getting their faces out, the way that it used to be done was record executives would look and say, what do I like or what do I think is going to sell? And so it was always their opinion. And they were and old, to, always an old dude trying to sell to oh, the always, young crowd. It'd drive you nuts. <laughs> the only thing is that every once in a while you get somebody in that position who would say, I'm going to take a risk. And they would take a risk with a band that is also taking risks. Yeah. And so that would be something very cool. And along the lines of like, it was a Henry Ford said, uh, if you ask the consumer what they wanted, all they'd want would be a faster horse as compared to a car. Yeah. Right? And, and in some some cases, most people don't know um, what's new and what's the risk unless it's put in front of them to yeah. take a look. What I like nowadays is that you have the choice of how many different outlets for, for music performance on, on, the, on the web, and uh, hey Richie, and all of these things are, are available to anybody to find. So if you're a band that's going to take a risk, you don't have to wait for somebody to say, we want you on our, our yeah. album, or we want you on our, our label. You can go out and do it yourself. Man, that's fantastic. It's hard. It's a lot of work. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, and you really have to know how to promote yourself. But I, I like the democratic expanse yeah, of yeah. music yeah, in yeah. that way. It's definitely been good. Yeah. Now, obviously, there are challenges nowadays. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we kind of face up and downs in the MI channel as well as in you know the you know selling of of, of music. Yeah. What do you assess are some of the most impactful or the most challenging challenges? Challenges in, in music? Well, in, 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 your, in your industry. Oh, where, in our yourself, industry. Yeah. Oof. Like, how do you, what do you see are the obstacles that you have to overcome? Obstacles to overcome. Um, one of them, of course, is that purchasing on the internet because with our instrument, with symbols, it, it's a lot more than just what you hear. It's how you feel it, how you're, you're a ride symbol. There's a lot of feel that goes into it. There's, um, there's the energy that's coming back out because really in a handmade symbol or instrument like yeah. ours is, um, 
there there is an energy there's a personality there's a soul that comes yeah. out of that that instrument that on online you're never going to get it but if you're looking for just a specific sound and it don't really matter about um, the personality of it it's fine to buy it online yeah but if yeah. you're looking for something like a ride really is is a tough one to buy online because that is so much of your personality on your kit and um, that one it's a challenge being able to find a way to project that energy that soul over digital yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what are some of the things that you're doing right now to to get over that hump and those challenges. Oh, we're still working a lot with retailers, so that's good. Yeah, that's um, why we're here, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that makes a huge difference. Um, and also, there are, are some stores that have already been and others that are starting to um, film the actual symbol and have somebody playing it in a way that you can at least understand a little bit of what that soul is or what the energy is that's yeah. coming out of it. You might not be able to feel it, you might not be able to see, you know, have your stick right on it, but if you can hear it and understand a little bit more, that will help. So it's not a perfect um, situation, but at the same time, it's a, a better answer than has been happening in the past, and it's starting to expand to more and more stores that people are doing it that way. Awesome. Yeah. So from the player side, what do you think the players need to do to help be more engaged with the with the manufacturer? I know that's a kind of a loaded question, mm. but um, you know, we we find that right now, yeah, um, I, I don't know where spending's at with within the market, but I think that well. If you're talking about, in two points, there's one with, with uh, putting together instruments and, and, and being able to express themselves the way they want to. Yeah. That's, that's an ongoing interaction between us and all artists. Yeah. And especially those who have a specific sound yeah. or a specific point of view that they want answered. Yeah. You know, that's their voice they want. Yeah. Great, because we hand make all of our symbols, it's easy for us to do that kind of thing. I had a guy the other day call me up and say, I've been trying to get a symbol out of a specific company and I just can't get it. Yeah. And um, he said, how long do you think it would take for you to do this? And I said, wow, you know, the, what you're talking about might take a while, it could be like three days. And he started to laugh <laughs> because he's been trying to do this for three years. And so, <laughs> right. and I said, what's well, so funny? He goes, well, I've been trying to do this for three years. And he said, well, did they make it by hand? No. Okay. Did they have Did they have the family secret on the thing? Yes. He answered that question, and then I said, "Well, that makes a big difference too. Yeah. If you got this and you've got the handmaids, we can do anything you want. Three days. Yeah. The other part of it is is um, in marketing, for example. Mm -hmm. It's uh, there is that paradigm shift from from print media, which is was wonderful. Yeah. Let's just put it that way. It was wonderful. And nowadays, there's a, so much more that goes on in, in electronic and social media that the um, drummers who are still sort of looking for their print ad are being left behind, even though we're talking to them about do more social, yeah. put yourself out there a little bit more. Let people know who you yeah, are, yeah, yeah, yeah. really. And you get that contact back and forth and, yeah. and your personality out there. That makes a big difference. It and does. Um, it and does. We're, we're working a lot more with our artists to get them in that direction. Ones that are already like just soaring on that type of thing, God, I love it. Some people like um, Matt McGuire who plays with um, uh, chain smokers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not, he's cool. And what he does on the internet is awesome and it's entertaining and it's it's uh, I'll just say risky he takes a risk in all those things and other people like uh, with Bastille Chris Wood he's awesome great yeah. and he and he's just funny and putting his personality out there and getting interaction and so the people who you would think of of who are the best drummers or the most important drummers aren't necessarily the ones who are performing all the time and recording all the time they're the ones who are making that interaction and yeah. getting their personalities out there and yeah. having people understand who they are and what they're all about. And I, I like that because drummers are great people. And the more you yeah, know you guys about are a fun them group. personally, yeah. the better it is. So it's like, yeah, keep going, man. I'm going to actually <laughs> shamelessly plug a show that you do, okay, that you broadcast yeah. on our network. Thanks, man. Uh, Andy does a show called Drummers High where he engages drummers about the drummer's lifestyle. So mm. you're not going to get much when it comes down to technique or she seeing any kind of uh, uh, performances, but mm. you will find out more about this crazy group of drummers. Hey, drummers, are, we're our own breed. Yeah, yeah, you guys yeah are, absolutely. You guys, 
the only group I know that will get together in a circle and make a lot of noise. Yeah. You'll never get a guitar player to do that. At least I, I don't think so. I've never maybe, seen maybe guitar you, players give each other a hug when they meet each other. I've ne that may happen. That, I've never seen it. <laughs> that's true. That's true. So we are here at NAMM, yep. and you are here demonstrating and showing people all the new gear. Yep. Uh, what do you guys have coming out now? Well, because we've decided that, that with being able to speak with, with uh, players directly um, and not having to wait for a trade show, yeah. we have already introduced um, what would have been typically introduced at this show back in October. It's the new HHX complex and it's an incredible symbol. It's, it's fantastic. It's one of those things where in, uh, years and years ago we had one that was called the sound control which was a beautiful symbol, had a little tip on the edge so that the energy traveling around the symbol wasn't mm -hmm. reactivating the energy traveling in and out of the symbol. It was much more um, refined. Yeah, yeah. And um, Mark found a way of taking that tip down and making a normal arc on a symbol and still having that same ability to, to have a clean attack and a nice easy decay and it's just absolutely gorgeous symbols. When the first time I heard it, I heard it, I stood up and I was walking over to him saying, what the is that? <laughs> <laughs> and actually Mark was just about to take a step back, like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, here, here. <laughs> that, that one already came out, but we're extending onto yeah. that line, we're extending onto a few other lines that, um, just for, uh, for things that we wanted to, to bring out that were a little bit different, that this is a good venue yeah. for it, because that one was so different, the HHX complex was so different that it was easy to put on the web and have people understand what it was. And the extensions are, are a little bit more esoteric, so it's a little more that you'd have to hear it to yeah, know yeah, what yeah. we're talking about. And the other thing we came out with is graphic symbols. Have what, you been over to the booth? Well, I stopped by for a second to okay. say hi to you, but I, didn't, I haven't... You, you didn't know, see it? I didn't see it yet. So part of the custom shop is um, drummers always like to be able to express themselves artistically, and that, that is not only with, with their playing, in the way that they live their lives, yeah. the way we think about things, but also in the visual. Yeah, yeah. And um, and up until this point, you've had drums that have had different types of... of uh, yeah, wraps of, and Exactly, drum wraps, heads. logos on the heads, all types of different things, and the symbols have been pretty much static bronze, which yeah, is yeah. fine. And some people have tried like um, to color the symbols, and when you hit them, they go, <laughs> they're dull, they don't work. Other people have tried to put on like platinum coatings and stuff, it just doesn't sound right. This is so thin, and actually Mark does something else to it to, to help you along. I, it kills me. <laughs> he does something else to it so that when you hit this thing, it's, you know the FRX? Yeah, yeah. The FRX is a symbol that we have that, that brings down the top decibels a little bit and brings up the, the lower ones. So it's great that, for worship. So it, it, worship right, it's a, it's a clean sound, it's a beautiful sound, but it's just a little bit quieter. This is Along those lines, just a tad off the top, a tad off the bottom. If you're really good at listening to cymbals, you'd hear it. If if you are a reg a general player, you'd never hear the difference. They are that good when you hit them. They just sizzle and spark, and they and they have a really nice decay that comes down. But they look very cool, awesome. and um, we're we're trying to figure out which cymbals to put it on and how many and all that type of thing to be able to um, offer it in the middle of the, the year. That's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. Very innovative, brother. Yeah. Well, I mean, hey, everybody wants to look good, too. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They do. <laughs> One word for Sabian to me, passion. You oh, guys, thank you. You guys are <laughs> super passionate about what you do. Yeah. Um, I want to thank you for joining us for this quick big picture. I know that we got more. We, we know how to get a hold of you. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna break this up even bigger <laughs> after the show. We're just trying to make it... Uh, to the next one, we've got Don Lombardi coming up next. Hey, Don, how's it hey, going? I, I think you would know a little bit about the drum world over here. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so, this has been the Changing Stage Show on Entertalk Media. Andy Zildjian with with Sabian, and I just oh, I love you. Brother. Thanks, dude. <laughs> big, 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 big thanks. Stay tuned for the next one. <laughs>